Afternoon everyone. Excuse how I'm dressed, it's uh, pretty cold and uh, rainy at the moment. Um, I'm just packing my uh, vehicle for uh, tomorrow's job. I'm doing a roof tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll be videoing that one or not. Um, it's absolutely pouring it down. Um, but I thought I'd have the idea. I haven't shown, um, I get asked all the time what setup you're using, what you're using to clean the roofs. Can we see setup and stuff? I've shown it in my uh, one of my equipment videos um, not too long ago, it was a few months ago, I think. Um, but I didn't really sort of go into detail of anything. I just sort of briefly showed, yeah, get this, 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 and this, um, and that's what I use. So I just thought as I'm packing, I've actually packed everything nice and neatly, but I'm gonna have to get it out and show you. Um, basically sort of what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll take you through um, what I use if I'm gonna be getting on ladders as well, um, and what I'll use if I'm gonna be using a scaffolding tower. Now tomorrow I'm gonna have to be on a roof on ladders. So I'll take you through. I've got a harness and a helmet and stuff like that um, that I've bought. Um, yeah, I'll just set this uh, little camera up here and I'll, I'll um, sort of start showing you the stuff. Right, one sec. Right then, I've got my nice, neat, packed box of, I pretty much fit almost everything, sort of uh, tool-wise, uh, scraper blades, things like that. Um, I think the flexi scraper, I think they'll bring out like a briefcase uh, type thing. Um, it looks like a gun case, actually, um, for the scraper blades, just to keep them all nice and neat at some point. But for now, um, I just use this. So I'll show you what's in this box. Right. So I just work from the top because this is how, I've just, how I pack it in, nice and neatly. Um, this this is a big silver grey uh, chemical suit, um, so I'll be using this for the first time. I must admit I haven't been using one of these before when uh, using Biocide, but it gets on your clothes, it stays on your clothes, um, and you're risking contaminating other things. So one of these, this is actually a reusable one, um, it's like double layered, so outside's waterproof, inside's got like a cotton layer. So I think you can wash it down or at least just wash the outside down um, after every use. Because you know, I think this was about 30 quid, so I can't imagine that it's one use. Um, hopefully not anywhere. Um, I won't put it on, but uh, maybe I'll put a picture in of what it looks like on. It's quite funny. Uh, secondly, just a pair of gloves. Um, nice and straightforward. You're working on a roof all day. You're going to scratch your hands up. So nice pair of gloves. Uh, this box, basically, I just keep Allen keys, uh, spares for the scraper set, things like that. Um, when you buy one, um, I'm not sure, it's, it's probably the same with the Marshall Pro and stuff. Um, sometimes you'll get thrown some spare sort of nuts and bolts in there just in case you lose any of them um, when you tighten in your scrapers up. Uh, next up, uh, what are these? They're nitrile gloves. So these are what you should be using if you are um, handling chemicals and things like that. So even hypo, um, biocides, things like that. Um, I buy these. I was going through like the thicker ones um, for a long time, but you're sort of meant to throw them away after every job anyway. So I was thinking, why am I spending like three, four quid on a pair of like marigolds each time um, when you can buy a hundred of these for about 12 quid, I think, from arco.co.uk. So um, yeah, I'll probably go through about four pairs of these per job because every time I stop to sort of take a break um, or I go and refill up uh, the backpack that I use, um, I'll put on a new pair of gloves afterwards because I've touched my clothes or I've touched my face, you know, things like that. So that's a nice handy thing. Um, right, so next up, so we've got this mask. This is a brand new one, so I've kept this sealed up. I've put the filters on now, so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow, um, but I haven't clicked them in yet. Um, so this is a 3M half face mask. I do recommend getting a full face one, but I haven't found one that doesn't steam up, basically. So I use a half face one. And a pair of um, safety glasses um, and these filters are ABEC 1 filters very important if you're using biocide to use ABEC 1 filters so look out for them I've got like the yellow and green sort of Jamaican looking flag on them um, they're the filters you want to be using with biocide if you're using just dust filters it's not making a difference you're still ingesting that chemical it's a mistake I made for a little while I'm glad I caught on um, and figured out the correct filters to use really 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 important um, these filters won't last forever, so I recommend, I'm going to be changing them every job, um, but I recommend sort of changing them very, very regularly. Uh, I'm going to be changing them every single job. Um, I'm not sure if that's too much, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, and I'll just literally price this. The cost of these, I think they're about a tenner for a new set of filters, um, or 14 quid maybe. I'll just price that into the job, so my price will go up by 14 quid from what it normally is. Um, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I've got a spare set of filters in there as well. And remember, once you've clicked this mask in and you've started using it, it continues to work. So if you do want to sort of stretch it out for a few jobs, I guess, keep it in a sealed uh, like Ziploc bag. Um, otherwise, it's just going to keep using sort of fresh air that's coming in. So wherever you keep the mask, uh, really important, most important piece of equipment on the job, in my opinion. Uh, 
next up I suppose I'll go I'm not going to go through every single one of them some of these are used some of these are new um yeah massive hunk of metal and nylon blades so there's pretty much I'm not sure if this is the full set I just keep buying them as a go. Um, every time I think I might need one, I'll just purchase one, but I've got everything. I've got like four different types of pan tiles, um, these big gigantic double width ones. I think I'm going to use this tomorrow, uh, which I'm looking forward to. Oh, my phone's running out of battery. I'll uh, try and hurry up. Um, there's a skinnier one there. So yeah, basically just loads and loads of blades. So remember all this fits in one box as well, so you can cram it in. Next up, a uh, little wire brush attachment for a wolf and garden pole. I use this literally every job just to get some edges sometimes. And a, another wire brush, this goes on a universal thread adapter. So this is usually what I'll brush the ridge tiles with before I start. Um, as I say, that goes on the end of one of these. So um, yeah, that's from the flexi scraper, it's the pole insert. That's a universal thread um, angle adapter. Screws in, goes into the end of the pole, bang. And oh, get it out. here is my two scrapers. So I've got the double headed scraper there. I've took them bolts off and the thing at the back because I don't use it very often. Um, but I've got it in that little box that I showed you um, where I keep my spares and repairs. Um, so a large flat blade on there at the moment. I'll change that off in the morning. Universal thread adapter again. And then this is the one that I use just because it's a single one. I mean, even that, there's a slight weight difference. So I'd rather use the lightest weight that I can. Um, yeah, that's still got the blade on it from the last job, but that's my little setup with that. So it's a universal adapter, goes into one of these. Uh, that's the angle adapter, so I can change the angle of it sideways and slots into the pole. I hope this is making sense to everyone. Um, another spare, just one of them, just in case my uh, little adapter breaks, because I use the plastic ones. So if the plastic one breaks on the job, I've got a metal one um, that I can pop on instead. These things, recommend everyone to carry these just in case the customer hasn't got a hose for their tap or anything like that. That's a bit stuck on there. So one of them, you can find them anywhere. That's got two sizes on it and two little hose clips. I can literally take these everywhere with me. Set of replacement O-clips, if any of the connections on the waterfed bowl that I used to brush the biocide in, if any of the uh, hose lock connections go, Placement O clips because that's happened to me on a job and it's never going to happen again. My side was spraying everywhere. Um, I had to keep refilling it. I think I refilled the backpack about ten times just to get one small roof done. I was trying to catch the runoff in a bucket. Oh, I was a nightmare. So yeah, always carry those now. And then lastly, it's in my little box, oh, safety glasses, um, tape. Uh, recommend having tape at all times just in case you got a leak or anything like that. And then it's basically just tape measured screwdrivers, things like that, just in case anything goes wrong. If one of the clamps goes on the waterfed pole, anything like that. Um, yeah, so always got something uh, to sort of fix things on the job if you can. Oh, actually, optional extras. So if you were using a scaffolding tower, they do not supply you with one of these. So bring a level, spirit level, um, just to make sure everything's level. So when the tower gets dropped off to you, they won't give you one of these. So bring your own one, just so you can make sure everything's safe. Um, if you're up on the scaffolding tower or up on the roof if you choose to, uh, always good to have a helmet. Shout out to uh, Sean Sidebottom for the stickers, I think his wife made the uh, Sid sticker. Um, I think his nickname is Sid as well, so hence why he had one. So I said, can you get me one? He said yes. And shout out to uh, Laura, um, I'll pop her business link in the description. She makes like um, leaflets and stickers and stuff for businesses, so she sent me that, so thank you very much. Right, and lastly, on just sort of the random sort of equipment, high vis um, for when you're up doing anything, just looks better, I guess. Um, and now in here, I have got, so I've got this thing to attach to my harness, which is also in there. I'm gonna have to pack all of this up again now, which is great. So I've got a harness there, this attaches onto that, and then I've got this big, chunky giant thing to hook over my ladders so that'll keep me locked into my ladders if I'm on a roof uh, just me attempting to be a bit safer so you'd be on ridge ladders you got your harness on hook yourself into your ridge ladders so if you started to slip you're safe you don't have to think about grabbing hold of the ladders and potentially tipping them over 
you can just hook yourself in and you're perfectly safe. So I'd recommend everyone getting that. It's a fall arrest system, basically. Um, if you want to Google that, it'll come up with both of these links. I think it was about 75 quid. Um, there is still some more upgrades I need to get on that. Um, I need to get something that will tie my ladders off to the roof ladders. There's a few more things I need to get, so I'm not perfectly 100% safe there yet, but I'm trying. Okay then, sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing, my phone is just about to die. Um, onto the um, sort of pole section and soft washing section. Um, yes, this is the poorest setup you can get for soft washing. Um, it's a 120 quid backpack, uh, but it works for me at the moment. Now I don't have the space at the moment for a big van mounted system, um, but there is something I'm actually going to upgrade to, but I'll do a video on that when I get it. I'm probably going to buy that next month. Um, but yeah, facel facelift, big boy backpack two, 22 litre backpack. Um, simple as you fill it up with one litre of uh, biocide, 20 litres of water um, and off you go. Um, it works well, I use it on max power now, turned all the way up, actually I use it on the boosted one, so yeah, basically on max power, um, it brings me over to the uh, how you are getting it on the roof. This is a 30 foot Renegade pole, I think it's a Phoenix brush head, um, very good, it's got four pencil jets in it, so it blasts out the uh, liquids right onto the roof. Uh, a nice customer for me actually replaced this because this broke off on my second job. The screws are crap in it, so the customer, fair play to him. He took it straight in his garage and fixed it for me, so yeah, thank you very much to him. Uh, another angle adapter on there, angle it sort of down towards the roof usually. Um, so that's a 30 foot pole. Um, now this is a 20 foot, 25 foot Renegade pole. Um, sometimes I'll swap out to the 30 if I need to, um, but I put my scraper in that one usually um, and scrape the roof with that pole. And you have a second pole then dedicated to soft washing so you don't have to take your pole hose out, your univalve, whatever you're using, um, because that can be quite a faff to switch poles. Uh, right, thirdly, this is the Wolf and Garten pole I was on about, the red one. I think this is like 18 feet or something, 20 feet maybe. Um, now, if you remember, I said you could attach a wire brush in the top. There is like a universal fitting, uh, not a universal fitting, like a special fitting on this thing, which looks like this. I do actually have the flexi scraper attachment as well. So if all of my fittings broke, I could whack my flexi scraper onto this pole instead. But yeah, so I've got a broom attachment for cleaning up at the end and a wire brush attachment for um, getting some of them nice detailed parts on the roof. Uh, that's all for the pole section. I'll go through the sort of ladder section now, any little accessories that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then I think that should be it, actually. Right then, and finally, so uh, actually I'll go through this first. Your chemicals that you want to be using. I just have my little dedicated chemical bucket there. Measuring jug, uh, biocide of your choice, uh, GK Pro, Alga Clear Pro, Benz is also good. Um, some people use uh, yeah, uh, sodium hypochlorite on their roofs. I don't use that on roofs, I use that on driveways only um, and patios and stuff. Um, so yeah, biocide of your choice, just keep it safe, keep it sort of locked up and away if you can, out of the reach of children and things like that. Um, so ladder equipment, if you are going to be using ladders for any part of the job, bungalows, you know, whatever, you shouldn't use it. But if you have to, like the job tomorrow I'm doing, I have to, I don't have a choice. No, nowhere to put scaffold in. It's my only option. Um, right. Ladder standoff. Very important. Really good bit of kit. I do recommend the Microlite one instead. Um, if you type that in, you'll find it. It's got wheels on it. Um, and it creates like pressure on the wheels. The wheels sort of flatten a bit. Amazing piece of kit. I'm going to upgrade to that next month or probably in a few weeks. Uh, these things that I found are really good, they're called a ladder mate, I believe, is it ladder mate? Yes, ladder mate. They sort of extend and move, this thing changes to the whip, so you can sort of pop them in the bottom rung of your ladders. It's a stabiliser essentially, for the bottom of your ladders. Your ladders will not go anywhere with this thing on, um, they're actually meant to be the other way around. Um, but if there's a drop down, if you put in your ladders and there's like a step below it, these things go low enough that you can put them off the step, that it's a really good bit of kit. Um, heavy duty rubber mats, you can use a ladder matrix instead, but they do the same job. It's not, that's me putting loads of pressure on it. That is not going anywhere. You know, you have to really boot it to get it to move. Um, and a ladder step, I use this all the time now. Just hooks over the rung that you, well, the rung above that you're standing on. Stand on that. Um, it's a bit small for me, I've got quite big feet. If it was a little bit bigger, it would be the best thing in the world, but it does the job. It's better than standing on a rung that's like that thick all day long. Um, that's about it. There's one more thing I'll show you and then I'm done actually. Right now, obviously you want a pair of ladders um, or a tower preferably, but yeah. So there's a pair of ladders. Um, these are the ladder hooks to go over the roof. Now this is just a single extension ladder that I use. Um, I think these were like from Halfords or something, but they are actually really, really good. Um, they're really sturdy. They do not move an inch as long as you set them up correctly. 
Um, brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. Obviously, they hook over the uh, ridge tiles of the house. And um, yeah, you go on the ladder from there. Brilliant. Right then, so that's all from me. I hope that's answered everyone's questions. Um, if there's any certain product that I've shown in this video that you want to know more about, um, just give me a shout in the comments. I'll let you know where I've got it from, um, if possible. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Sorry if I sort of brushed over everything really quick, but um, there's not really much to say about it. It's quite straightforward stuff. Um, but yeah, I think all in all, the total budget from that stuff is probably around a grand. You could probably get all of that stuff, or maybe even less if you uh, shopped better than I do. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. I will have a video out very, very soon. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that little sort of roof cleaning setup. I don't know what I'll call it. It'll be like everything you need to start roof cleaning or everything I use for roof cleaning. But that is it. That's sort of my entire kit. Um, obviously, there might be little things like a few wire brushes here and there or, you know, tiny little things, bags, uh, waste bags, you know, uh, gutter socks if you want to catch some runoff, things like that. Um, but yeah, you, you know, make it up as you go along. Um, you'll figure out. That's sort of the core amount of stuff that I use anyway. Um, I don't really go anywhere without all of that kit. So yeah, cheers for watching. Thank you very much.